Hello. We'll be doing a series based off of scary stories to tell in the dark. Um, the first story that we'll be reading, or slash drawing, is the big toe. A boy was digging at the edge of the garden when he saw a big toe. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck to something. So he gave it a good hard jerk, and it came off in his hand. Then he heard something groan and scamper away. The boy took the toe into the kitchen and showed it to his mother. It looks nice and plump, she said. I put it in the soup and we'll have it for dinner. That night, his father carved the toe into three pieces, and they each had a piece. Then they did the dishes, and when it got dark, they went to bed. The boy fell asleep almost at once, but in the middle of the night, a sound awakened him. It was something out in the street. It was a voice, and it was calling to him. Where's my toe? It groaned. When the boy heard that, he got very scared, but he thought, It doesn't know where I am. It will never find me. I heard the voice once more, only it was closer. Where's my toe? It groaned. The boy pulled the blankets over his head and he closed his eyes. I'll go to sleep, he thought. When I wake up, it will be gone. But soon he heard the back door open and again he heard the voice. Where's my toe? It groaned. And the boy heard footsteps move through the kitchen into the dining room, into the living room, and into the front hall. Then slowly they climbed up the stairs. Closer and closer they came. Soon they were in the upstairs hall, and now they were outside his door. Where's my toe? The voice ground. His door opened, shaking with fear. He listened as the footsteps slowly moved through the dark towards his bed. Then they stopped. Where's my toe? The voice groaned. You've got it! The big toe also has another ending. When the boy hears the voice calling for its toe, he finds a strange-looking creature up inside the chimney. The boy is so frightened he can't move. He just stands there and stares at it. Finally, he asks, What would you got such big eyes for? And the creature answers, To look you through and through. What do you got such big claws for? To scratch up your grave. What do you got such a big mouth for? To swallow you whole. What what you got such sharp teeth for? To chomp your bones. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be doing the next story, The Walk, next weekend. Have a great day and happy drawing.